recreational knitting. This is day 25 of the Christmas Advent vlog. Vlogmas. This is day 25 of Vlogmas. I have no yarn to open today um, because my Advent was only 12 days and in actuality it should start tomorrow for the 12 days of Christmas. But you got to see it before with everybody else's. I did want to show you what little bit of progress I got done last night. Uh, yesterday I spent some time uh, making cookies, going to the grocery store. O-M-G. The lines in the market were pleasant but long. <laughs> I'm sure if you did it, you know. So, I just want to show you what little bit of knitting I have been working on um, after I made cookies. Um, I think I'm still going to make some cookies this week um, just because I didn't feel like doing them before. Yeah, it's a strange place to be. Um, what I do, maybe a half, half an inch, but I only have a few more rows before I bind off this particular sock because it's going to be a shorty and yeah oh boy it came off we'll put it back I'm trusting that everybody had I hope that um, that it was a good Christmas heard from my kids already today they're having uh, a nice Christmas together which is nice to hear. Um, and yeah, I miss them. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go visit them soon. This is the other sock that came out of storage. Uh, I showed you there, <coughs> excuse me, showed you I was there yesterday. A couple of rounds. Um, yeah, that's it. Not a lot, but I'm going to very soon be binding this one and this one off. You'll see um, these uh, works in progress are really starting to bug me. All right, let's show you my purple, lavender, lilac, whatever you want to call it, sweater. The one sleeve has been bound off. Of course, the nothing has been woven in. And I'm making progress on this sleeve and maybe another half an inch of the stockinette. And I will start the ribbing and I will have a nice spring, um, four seasons kind of sweater. It will come to um, elbow length and it's a good length for Florida, this area. So that's what I've been up to. I'm hoping that um, you 
have been able to see your families and enjoy some time with them. I hope that you had a nice meal with those families. Uh, we will eat later. We haven't eaten yet, although I did make a wonderful breakfast, must say, even though the bacon was not up to snuff. You know, when you go to the market to buy bacon the day before Christmas, they don't always have what you want. So, just saying, you should probably get it a couple weeks before and put it in the freezer. Ask me how I know. But it was delish, I have to say that. Um, yeah, so uh, tradition is typically that we will have a, um, a nice breakfast. And what I mean by nice is, you know, just something like bacon and eggs rather than yogurt and granola. I mean, that's typical. And um, yeah, so the eggs were good, the bacon was okay, and the company was wonderful. So um, I hope that you had all the feels from your families and friends. And again, I'll mention those of you that know of people that are alone, a nice phone call, a text, just to check up on them would be wonderful for that person. All right, I don't have a whole lot more to show you, but I did want to get on here and say, I hope that you've had a great day. And on that note, knit in peace.